Hey, hey, YouTube, it's Eternal Prince bringing you another little Let's Play Balloon TD6. We are playing hard mode, chimps mode on the fifth map, which is Town Center over here. So I'm just going to fix the map split up. We've got Upset Spaghetti here with us, and we've got Par We Wan. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight into this one. So I'm going to start this game with Etienne. And we do have a little bit of lag, so I apologize for that on behalf of the players. And what we'll do is we'll send some money over to Lago as soon as possible here. So we can get Lago Sorda. I reckon Sorda in the middle of the map somewhere would be nice. If we can get it in that little strip there or there would be nice. Awesome, that would be a good spot to be fair. That should cover us a lot. And then what we'll do is we'll save up for Etienne. And I'll explain exactly why I'm choosing Etienne. Oh wow, the, the uh, balloons have got capes. Awesome guys. So, Sorda's getting put down and we're gonna go ahead and put down Etienne and we need good map coverage with Etienne here so I reckon we should put Etienne down here. Maybe here, I reckon. Should be good. Awesome. So that'll keep us going for a bit and we can kill, help Sorda kill over here. So why have we chosen Etienne? You're probably wondering why. Let's send uh, Pawiwan some money first. And if we go over here, if we look at this, look at Sorda's abilities. Range increased. Four more temporary drones to wreak some ha balloon popping, ha popping havoc. That's an active ability. And if you come down here, guys, this is the one I'm looking for. At level eight, we get all monkeys gain camo balloon detection. What more do you want from that one? So basically level eight. Let's go. So we do have a little bit of lag, unfortunately, but we'll have to just roll with that for now. And it does say the player's disconnecting, but the player will rejoin. So I'm going to send Pawiwan some money back because I'm happy to run with Etienne for now. So we'll keep this running. And like I was saying, guys, in previous episodes, the harder it gets when, is when the rounds go up in number. So when you're looking at like 70 plus, between 70 and 80 of the choke points, I think 82 is a big one. If we can get to 82, I'll be so happy. We're nearly a third of, a uh, quarter of the way, sorry. So Pawiwan's gone for middle path off the Druid Monkey. We've got Et Sword, Sword over here, Etienne over here. We'll keep this coming, hopefully. So what I really feel like putting down right now is a sniper monkey. But there is a, a flaw by putting a sniper monkey down, which you guys will see shortly. You see those red red things over there? That's basically the line of sight is blocked. So that's not great. So I'm kind of hoping we can get a good coverage, like there quite possibly, maybe there. We're only missing a little bit then. We're only missing the two little areas. We're missing that area over there on the left and that area there on the top right and the end as well. Which is kind of rubbish to be fair, but we've just got to run this for now. Um, and with Etienne's ability, Sniper Monkey should get um, detection on camos. So we don't need to go to the middle path at all. We don't even need to touch that. But yeah, let's go for the uh, Full Metal Jacket. We've also got a ninja monkey over here, which I believe Lago will go for the bottom path, I'm not sure. I don't know what this pig is here, that's different that is. If anyone know what this pig is, please let me know in the uh, comments. So guys, remember to drop a like on this video. I am on TikTok, I'm on Discord as well. All the links that you need are in the description box below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this video and let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I am trying to make my way through the 
Balloon TD6 map on chimps mode. So hopefully it's all good. Now we are at round 32, at 33 now, and we're basically a third of the way through, so that's good. I know it's probably looking easy right now, but it will get harder, I promise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for large caliber. At least, at least we can take out the thick balloons. So what I will say about the uh, Druid Monkey is it's awesome. If you have a look at this over here, the popping count, 2000 plus. Sorda should have as much. No, Sorda doesn't. So we've got the Wizard Monkey over here. We've got Etienne as well. Etienne's got about 800 pops, which is okay. I can use Etienne's ability if I need to use it. We get five drones rather than the conventional one. Objective. Just pop our way through this, hopefully. And we need to get Etienne to level nine or eight, sorry, as soon as possible, just so we can get our camo detection easily. So the Ninja Monkey should cover that, hey. but Druid Monkey should be covered as well, so that's good. So guys, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is where all the magic happens. And if you haven't yet already, go check out the other series as well. Ooh, we got a level up, nice. And a monkey knowledge point, nice. We are running a Subnautica series, and an Ark series, and a Tomba series, which is a bit classic, and Dino Crisis has been done as well. Um, check out the cards in the top right. The links are all there. So this is gonna be our big first challenge. So let's see if we can do something about this. Oh, it's not looking good. Luckily, the Druid Monkey saved us, I think, on that one. I'm hoping we get faster firing now. Even faster firing as well. It should help us out a bit more. And we're taking out the strong balloons as well, so it's good. I don't think we should be making anything in the water because it does block our line of sight. If we look over here, you'll see that the line of sight should usually get blocked. I guess not, maybe not. Drone power. So we've actually got a choice right now, but I reckon we should go. Where do we go? 20 damage per shot plus bonus, bonus damage to ceramics and we can actually maim Moabs as well. So yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a catch 22 to be fair, but um, I reckon, I'm not sure. Should we go top path or should we go bottom path? Yeah, we've got a bit of money saved right now. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go top path, deadly precision, let's do it. And then we've got main Moabs as well, so that should be good. We should see the popping going up crazily now. So I don't think I'm gonna make a sub in this one, but if the other guys decide to make one, then we'll do that too. Uh, we only need a bit more cash and then we should, in theory, be able to get the main Moabs as well. So we are halfway now, at f level round 50, sorry. Let's get the uh, Maim Moab as soon as possible. There we go. We also get Cripple Moab, but that's gonna cost us a lot of monies, monkey money that is. Although that is really good. Right, let's see what else we can make because we've only got Etienne and we've only got the Sniper Monkey right now. And who do we have here? Got a little bit of a boost. Okay, that's good. We've also got a wizard monkey over there, so I'm not too worried about that. I reckon what we can do with this is we can probably... That would be cool, that will be. I reckon we should go for a boomerang monkey, personally. If I can get a boomerang monkey down here, I'll be happy. Tracking MOAB. And the path that we're going to go with the boomerang monkey is we're going to go for this one here, the bottom path, because they follow a straight path instead of curved, and then the Moab press. It might knock back the Moabs as well, so what more do you want with that? 
Let's do this. Long range, red heart because it can pop frozen and lead balloons, as well as a camo detection with Etienne. That should be awesome. So let's go to um, top path with glaives. And let's aim for the strongest balloons. It might have been better to go with the middle path on that one, but it's fine. It is what it is. So let's go for the uh, Moab press because it knocks them back. Cool. It's probably actually worth putting a boomerang monkey here as well. So I might actually do that. Let's do it. We'll do a double boomerang. How's that? And this time we'll go middle path on that one, hopefully. So let's put these for strongest. And the sniper monkey is set to strong as well, so that's good. Let's wait for this Kylie boomerang. Tracking MIB. There's no path blocked on this one because it's not red over here on the path, so that's good. Kylie boomerang, let's go. So shout out to the guys that are playing with me right now, Upset Spaghetti and uh, Pabu Wan. They're doing a, an awesome job, to be fair. We're going to go faster throwing on this one. So that way that should be covering us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So we'll have lead, frozen and camo for that. What more do you want? Okay, what are we saving up for? So I think Lago is saving up for something big. So let me get my Moab press, and then what we're going to do is we're going to funnel some money over to Lago. Hopefully. So we're nearly at round 70. So what was I saying, guys? It starts getting difficult at around 70 plus. So we've got the Moab press. Thank you, player three. I appreciate that. Powie Wan, you're awesome. So we've got some freezing going on over here, so that's good. Now we're talking. Tracking MIB. Oh no, we got a bit of lag, guys. That's not good. No dropping out, please. Is Etienne level 8 yet? Hey. Etienne is level 10. Nice. And that means we've got a, a new ability here. So we go for a bit of easier reading. At level 10, the UCAV, High Altitude Surveillance Drone, becomes Devastating Combat Drone for a short time. And if I was to demonstrate this, guys, what it does is... Weapons. There it is. Look at that, guys. It's coming around in circles and it's firing up missiles. Look how cool that is. Not that Spectre there. That's Player 3's. This one over here. Wow, it's letting out spikes like that. I've never seen that before. Can't tell whether they're spikes or missiles. I tracking MOAB. Tracking BFB. Objective. Not looking good. But we should be able to do that. So guys, we need some DPS now. Which I believe Lago might be saving up for. So I'm just gonna go send my money over to Lago just so we can get something cool, hopefully. Tracking MOAB. Tracking BAB. Looking good so far. We've got some good damage coming with the sniper monkey. So that's awesome. Well, the cripple Moab will be nice. But I think what we're saving up for next is even better. 
So let's just send some more money over to Lago as soon as possible. Because this should uh, keep us covered for now, hopefully. So there is a flaw to what we're going to be doing, but it's too cool to turn down right now. It's too cool to turn down, and you'll see why. Tracking MOAB. Awesome. Right, what do we need there? We need to, we need a bit more XP for that. To be fair, I haven't even got that yet. And there we have it, guys. What do we have? We've got the Prince of Darkness. Reanimate even more powerful balloon servants to obliterate the enemy and enhance all other necromancers. So in all of the other instances, guys, this is now the Eternal Prince of Darkness. That's a tribute to me from Lago. Thank you so much to Lago. Really, really, really appreciate that. Um, now, I'm not sure what to go for. Should Do we go for Cripple Moab? Or should we go for another... Moab domination, maybe. Tracking BFB. You never know. But we need something with damage. And what gives us good damage? And we've been using it quite a lot recently. Yep. Big red You've guessed it. It's going to be the tax shooter. Now, why is it going to be the tax shooter? There's only one slight flaw with the tax shooter, but I reckon we can... We can uh, cover this. Mm, actually, you know what? We're going to leave the uh, tracking BFB tax shooter for now. I'm going to save up a bit more money. I want to see if uh, Pawiwan needs any money. I should tell you what, guys. Let's do it. Let's, let's do this. Let's go bottom path attack because it's a tax sprayer and it's an overdrive and the tax zone at 21,600 and let's go for faster shooting as well and even faster shooting look how fast we can shoot guys look at this I might have placed a tax shooter in the wrong place but it's fine Look how much we're popping. Tracking MOAB. You'll see the popping power coming through, hopefully. The tax zone's gonna be epic though. If I can save up for that, let's see what happens. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the balloons are not getting through. It's around 84 right now. They're not even surviving. But that might be because our players are lagging, unfortunately. So they will leave, but they'll rejoin, hopefully. Pawiwan's just left, but he should rejoin. We've also got our abilities here at the bottom. Weapons, we can use them to help us out a bit. We are crippling the Moabs as well, so that's helping us out massively. But the only problem is when you've got more than one. Look at that, we're pushing them back. And we're pushing them back. Made up. Yeah, no chance. These balloons have got no chance, ladies and gentlemen. But I'll start worrying once we get to 95, because... There's a certain balloon that comes out and it's very dangerous. Clean cut and still cuts a tomato. So player three has just rejoined awesome. I was uh, wondering if uh, we were gonna get Weapons. Hot. a two tracking ZOMG. Two V all these rounds at the end, but maybe not. So one thing I will say about for those that play uh, Bloom TD6, for some reason a lot of players seem to, seem to have a lot of lag. But if you're familiar with your friends, then, you could, then it's tolerable. But if you're not familiar with it and you play with the public lobby, then it can get quite annoying, to be fair. But this tax shooter is doing a good job so far, but I think we need to save up for this tax zone. 
And obviously the Eternal Prince of Darkness is doing a lot of damage. Striking ZOMG. And the track's getting covered by spikes with this spike factory, the Lego factory. So we've actually got a choice, a Cripple Moab or we've got the Tax Zone. I reckon the Tax Zone would be a lot better, personally. We've also got some turtles spawning. So that's just a feature that some of the players have. They have turned on, which they just change the look of the balloon. They actually don't increase in uh, damage and stuff, so... Or defense, even. Clean cuts and still cuts heavy. Seems to be This seems to be the popping area over here. It's very, very deadly. Might as well use my abilities while I'm here. I'm dreading these next balloons that are going to come, and I think the next choking point is at 92. Cool. Striking BFB. So far, so good. We are doing a lot of damage. Tracking MOAB. We've got a Darling Gunner over here as well, nice. Clean cuts and still cuts a tomato. Let's try and use our abilities right now. We need another 10k, 9k, sorry, or 10k even, just to get our attack zone. We are knocking back the balloons there, so that's good. They're getting stunned and they're getting knocked back as well. What more do you want? Tracking BFB. DDT, DDT. So this is what I was worried about here, the DDTs, but luckily we've got the camo detection. So they've got a bit of camo, they've got lead uh, protection and I think something else protection as well. Camo and lead, I, I believe it is. Very dangerous, but luckily Etienne will cover us and our other balloons should cover us as well. Suave deployed. Tracking BFB. Tracking UMG. Attack zone is doing a lot of damage. Systems. The boomerang monkeys are doing a lot of damage as well. I says Etienne to be fair, but this one's doing a lot more. Let's try and get these balloons popped as soon as possible, ladies and gentlemen. I'd start getting worried if I see the balloons over here, near this building over here. But I think we're doing well so far. So I mean the downside to the tax shooter is it can only shoot in this little area over here, but it is what it is. I'm hoping we can pop it before it gets down here because of the knockbacks. Try DDT, DDT, clean. Oh no, not DDTs. Not DDTs. So far, so good. 96. Can we do this, ladies and gentlemen? I might have to just request a little bit of cash. I don't like requesting, but I think we need it because we're very close. Tracking zero. Thank you, Lago. Thank you, Pawi One as well. Let's get this guy's tax zone. Look at that. Excellent firepower. I think I really should have placed it in the middle somewhere, but it is what it is. Come on, pop away. Pop away, pop away, pop away. Let's go, go, go. Pop away. So we are 97 right now. I don't know who's requesting, so let's see if we can request the rest of this money out. Let's send it over to Powiwan as soon as possible. See what Powiwan's got in store for us. Swamp 
So guys, if you haven't guessed already, Etienne is French. And, still cuts a tomato. and you know how we feel about the French. We love them. Tracking BAB. Weapons. Hot. Tracking zero What level is Etienne right now? Level 14. Drones damage greatly increased. UCAV damage output and duration greatly increased. We'll try and get that for the last level, hopefully. But this is dangerous. This is getting dangerous. Will we pass this level? I'm not too sure. Let's send some money over to Powiwan as soon as possible. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Not looking good at all. I don't like DDT balloons. I hate them, in fact. Last round, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the last round. And I don't like this at all. Let's use our abilities. Can we knock it back, please? It's taken a lot of damage. I'm just going to slow this one down a bit because it is the last round. Hmm. Our friends seem confident. I don't always feel, feel confident though, unfortunately. Okay, I think we've won this one. I am absolutely buzzing about that because honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I've tried this map over 15 times. And we've actually smashed it. Thank you so much to everyone who took part in this game. Upset Spaghetti and Power One. These are the results. And obviously, guys, if you want to see some more good fun action, head over to twitch.tv slash eternal prince. Shout out to all you guys who are tuning in as well. And that's cheered us on. And that motivated me to basically make this series. Go check out the previous map maps if you haven't yet already. And make sure you go check out the next one. I'll see you soon, guys. Peace.